Hello, and welcome to Behind the Red Lines Q1 2023 with a review of Q4 2022. I'm Josiah Whitman. Since last quarter in current events, we saw continued interest rate increases, an improving stock market, and somewhat conflicting financial data. Overlay that on top of our predictions for Q4, and we'll show graphically what the data says for the marketplace of directors of surgical services. I'd like to start with the biggest news from the fourth quarter, and that's the decrease in ad spending. For context again, this is the hospital and surgery center marketplace and how many ads they're buying. We see a clear decrease relative to the fourth quarter. So either fewer directors are separating from their position or hospital executives are trying to decrease their ad spending. Let's flesh that out more with what we can for, see from the open vacancies and candidate activity. Last quarter's first prediction was that we'd see a slowdown in the fourth quarter due to the holiday travel of both candidates and clients. In fact, declines are what we see here in overall candidate activity and here with a modest decline in candidates' willingness to relocate. That's reinforced here in the client's rate of opening director of surgical services positions. So that mirroring explains the ad spending. The whole market slowed in Q4. I predict an equal and opposite uptick in the first quarter as the possibility grows of a soft landing in the economy, work no normalizes post-pandemic, and we see mortgage rates again begin to decline. For now, we have to deal with reduced candidate activity. Translating that to your national search for a director of surgical services, you might consider an interim in preparation for a longer duration for your search or invest in the retention of your existing director through executive coaching or good old fashioned begging them to stay. In the fourth quarter, we made prediction number two. We'll see inflation manifest in director of surgical services salaries. And that's what we see in the month immediately after my last quarterly review. The fourth quarter average of 153,000 shows a 5% increase over the third quarter average of 146,000. That's a significant quarter over quarter increase. I described actual salaries as a lagging indicator as the increased costs drive their way through human resources salary bands that have been aspirationally set early in the yearly planning. So that should lag, sh that lag should continue to show salary increases for at least the next quarter in 2023. So that's our Q4, observations and predictions about the market for directors of surgical services. Whitman Partners, as in our performance, finished a strong Q4 with a record year for revenues, driven primarily by our interim business. Hospitals loaded up on supplemental staff to handle the COVID backlog of elective surgeries. Perm demand for retained search services remains strong, and call-in orders are holding steady and even increasing. So I hope you can join us in getting your year off to a fast start, and as always, keep up the great work.